What is up, you guys? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sam. If you did not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, what is going on, guys? Happy Monday. It's currently 12:06 p.m. I woke up not too long ago, and I've been trying to figure out like what kind of video I should record today. And I get a lot of questions on like my social media platforms, on asking like what I use to record, how do I use it. Um, basically, um, like, what do I use every day in my lifestyle to create content? And today, I'm gonna split a tea, child. I'm gonna give you what y'all been asking for, and I'm gonna tell you what exactly I use, how do I use it, what apps I use, um, how do I create my thumbnails. Literally, I'm gonna give you the tea from A to month Z, okay? Um, starting off, I'm gonna let you know, um, hold on. Before I go, before I even start, um, I am drinking on my press juice. I juiced stuff yesterday. If you want to check out what I juice, go ahead and check out my Instagram at Samology with the X S A M X O L O G Y. You'll see the video of me juicing and creating my little morning juices, which are so good. But before I get started. I'm gonna um, basically run down what what equipment I use, um, what apps I use, and then I'm also gonna share the settings of my phone, like my camera, on my settings, and I'm gonna let you guys know what I have it on, what I have it set to before I do record. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna actually move this. So, before, say for instance you wanna start a YouTube channel, what I do recommend is starting off with your phone. Um, I currently have a iPhone 14 Plus in the color purple, if you really cared. And I also have the iPhone 14. Yes, I have two phones, don't ask me why, um, but, um, I'm gonna run down the settings of what my camera part is, just so you guys can see what I do record on. Um, I typically, okay, so if you're on your phone, you go to settings, obviously, you hit settings, and then you wanna scroll down, you can't really see, but, you wanna scroll down till you see camera, I can't see because it's backwards. Did I pass it? No, right here, camera. And then, there's gonna be a list of stuff that I that's on there. So, whenever I record video, I always record at 4K, at 60 frames per second. So this is the option it's gonna show you on your phone. Um, if you do not have 4K, 1080 is the is the better option. Um, never never record at. I mean, there's nothing wrong recording at 720, but um, you want more of the quality. Um, so 4K at 60 frames per second is the best. Um, so yeah, I have enhanced stabilization turned on, and I also have action mode lower light turned on as well. Um, and then for my auto frames per second, so there's a little option right here. Hold on, I can't see yet. Still focusing. Auto frames per second. Hold on, is that it? No, I'm going under it. The auto frames per second at the bottom, right here. I have it on auto to 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second. So. Um, it basically improves it, improves your video. Um, I don't, um, I turn off my HDR because it does, um, it does take up more storage in your phone, but even when you don't have it, even when you do have it turned on, it's still, uh, I can't speak right now. Even when it's not turned on, you still have a great quality camera. 
Um, if you do record slow mo, I kept mine at 1080 um, HD by 240 frames per second, so it could be a better, clear shot whenever you are going in slow mo. And then at cinematic mode, I have it at 4K at 30 frames per second. Um, um, I, I do turn on my grid, so whenever I'm on the camera roll, um, you'll see you'll see a grid on there just so I can level out like basically what I'm shooting, what I want in the middle, and getting everything correct. Um, as far as everything else, it's the same. And I also mirror front camera. So on your settings, so you know how sometimes you take a picture and then it's a selfie, and then whenever you go back to look at it, it's like the opposite. The reason why is because the mirror front camera is not turned on. So now whenever you turn it on, the way you took it the first, the way you took your selfie the first time is how it's gonna come. And it's not gonna look like it's swapped around. Um, so yeah, literally I only use, I, I use my camera app all the time. I don't use my actual camera. I only use my camera for vlogging. Um, but my actual camera, like my phone camera, I use it for everything else. So my reels, TikToks, um, any video that you see on my Instagram or TikTok or YouTube shorts, it's only gonna be from my phone. Um, I don't use my camera at all to make any um, videos. I feel like it's still it's the same quality and it, I feel like it's gonna be more of a time out of me. Like, it's gonna take more time to take the video off then go on my computer and then edit it and then export it and then send it to my phone and then store it. So I literally just use my phone um, for everything except vlogging. Um, some apps that I use, I literally only use like three apps, I think. But the main, well, the main app that I really use for all, all of my reels has to be um, CapCut. CapCut is literally the only thing I use to edit my reels. At one point of time, I was using InShot, um, but I figured out how to get different fonts on CapCut. So that just, I just never used InShot again, but I have, excuse me, I have used it before. Literally, you can see right here, like, hold on, let me focus. Like, literally all of my videos are used from InShot, like, all of my videos. InShot, I mean, not InShot, sorry, CapCut. Um, so yeah, CapCut is literally the only thing I use to edit all my reels and TikToks. Um, another, let me see. Another, another app that I use, um, I, I do use Canva sometimes just to get the font. Sometimes they have different fonts on there. So I tend to use that as well. Um, so that's really it on my phone. That's all I really use is CapCut, Canva, and my camera for all my all of my reels. And I literally you do that for both phones because like sometimes um, you might be shooting an angle with this phone and I need another angle, so I'll take out my other phone and hit another angle and get two angles so the video can get better. Um, I think on the iPhone 14s as well you can record in 4K, but let me double check. Um, yes, so you can record on 4K, so that's good. But um, whenever I did start doing YouTube, I haven't used the camera. Like I didn't, I didn't use a camera to start my YouTube. I use my phone because um, any phone works when you first start out. Um, I was so motivated, like I didn't even use my phone for long. I just went about a camera because I feel like it's more efficient. Um, and it's more like legit, not legit, but like, I feel like I'm more motivated when I have a camera in my hand or holding a tripod and what's up guys and just talking to a camera. I feel like I'm just that bitch. Um, but continuing on to the next, um, set of equipment, um, continuing from like what I use to make my reels. 
a tripod. Literally, a phone tripod is really the game changer for angles. Um, this is a 62 inch tripod, I believe, or 52, one or the other. Um, and it has a stand. Oh, hold on, I gotta unscrew a little bit and then stand it up like this. And then screw it down. And then, as you see, they have these little clips right here where you can unclip and pull it up. So if I go to, like this is literally it standing on its own. So it's a pretty good height. And then another thing that I like about this, and then if you wanna make it a little bit higher, you can um, untwist this and like make it more like straight down. Oh, I can't. More straight down right here. So it can be off the floor. Uh, So now it's even more higher from when I adjusted it. Um, the good thing about a tripod, um, it does catch the angles. And I literally have two tripods. I'm not even kidding you. I literally leave one in my trunk because you just never know when you're gonna need a tripod. You can be outside and just like, oh my God, I need to record this. I got my tripods in my trunk. Let me look at my tripod. Um, another thing I like about this tripod um, exactly, or this tripod specifically, um, the angles of the tripod are basically like right here. This is it straight, right? But then I can turn my phone down and get like a overhead shot or a like a, a shot that I'm like leaning towards too. Like you see how it's like leaning like this. So. Say for instance, I put my phone in here. All right, I'm grabbing my phone in. This is me taking a regular shot, right? And then, oh my God, I wanna take a shot of it like lowering like the phone down. I literally get to just turn it and then I can just zoom into the shot and then start recording. Um, another thing about, I like about this tripod, it also has a, it also came with a clicker so say for instance, you want to keep the phone in place and not touch it. It also came with a clicker for you to Bluetooth it to your phone. So you can just click, start, record, and not having to move the tripod or putting it in a different place for it to move and shake. You literally just click and stop, click, click, click. And it has been a game changer for me because when I, every time I hit my, my phone to start, it, it always like shake the tripod a little bit because I have heavy hands. Um, next on equipment, I literally have my iPad. I have the iPad mini. Um, I have the purple color, if you, if you cared. And I also have the iPad, Apple Pencil, um, second generation. And of course, it's gonna be dead. Um, but let me talk about my iPad real quick. Um, literally, I create all of my thumbnails on my iPad. That's literally exactly what I use it for. Um, in the future, I want to change my aspect of editing reels on my phone and transferring them to the iPad. Like I wanna start editing on my iPad because I, have, I feel like I have a bigger screen and I can see more and control more on a bigger screen. Um, a bigger screen. Um, another thing that I do use, I also use, um, I have a MacBook Pro. Um, this is the, of course this one's dead too. I'm, I was using it yesterday. This is the MacBook Pro 2023. It just came out not too long ago. It's a little dusty. Um, but on these two devices, um, I literally use, well, on my iPad, I use the GoDaddy Studios app, the, the Studios app for my, um, for my thumbnails. And then recently I just downloaded Fonto. Um, Fonto is great, cause I just used it the other day. I was watching a YouTube video on how to make a new thumbnail. I mean, sorry, not a new thumbnail. A new YouTube banner. And my YouTube banner came out real good. And I used Fonto for my YouTube banner. Right here. So this is my new YouTube banner. You guys probably can't even see. 
But you see how it has all the pictures of me and then the text right there and there's like a little like effect to it. So yeah, I did that on Fonto. It was a really easy YouTube tutorial. If I can find a tutorial, I will link it down below. Um, but I'm going to, I so I have Fonto on this iPad. I have Capca as well, just in case I need to use, use Capca. I've, I've edited a video on here before, but I just didn't start getting used to editing a video on here. And then GoDaddy Studio. That's literally all I use my iPad for, besides watching YouTube and Netflix. Is literally, um, is literally those things. Um, on my computer, on the other hand, I have a couple different apps because I do use this for school as well. Um, so Word, PowerPoint, all the other stuff. But towards content, I have Final Cut Pro. I have the trial version because they give you three months of free trial. And I wanted to try it out before I actually bought it because it is an investment. Um, it's not that much, only 200 bucks. But well, with my student discount, it's 200 bucks. Um, but I've also seen people use CapCut on a computer. Um, one of my YouTuber friends slash middle school friends, Kyla, if you're watching this, I think she uses CapCut um, to edit her videos. Check our channel below, it's Kyla BTW. Um, but yeah, she uses CapCut, I believe. But I use Final Cut Pro. But there is nothing wrong with using iMovie. When I first started YouTube, I, that was the only thing I was using. I'm using iMovie when I first started, and then after that, I got the Final Cut Pro trial. Um, with my videos, I'm very minimalist. I do like, I'm very simple, not too much, like bling, 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 bling. Obviously, over the course of time, I'm gonna learn more and more about editing videos. Um, but I feel like just by beginning, you only really know how to cut, paste, copy, and text. Um, the only thing I didn't like about iMovie is that it didn't really have a good font system, like with um, changing the font of your text. But I am on Final Cut Pro, you can change your text and you can do like little movements and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm still learning, still adapting to it. Um, I'm honestly for my next video, maybe this video, I'm gonna try using CapCut on my computer and see how that works. And then, cause CapCut is free on a computer. So if I like CapCut more than Final Cut Pro, then I won't have to invest 200 bucks in getting Final Cut Pro because CapCut is working for me on the computer. So yeah, um, that's really all I use that besides school. So CapCut. No, I'm sorry. Final Cut Pro, iMovie, and yeah. Um, with editing on a computer, I do have a flash drive. Um, this is the flash drive that I use. It is the Lacey one terabyte flash drive. I got it from Apple. This was like $89.99. And this is what all the YouTubers <laughs> were using, so I bought one. Cause I wanted, I wanted to feel like, yeah, I'm official. So I literally, after I'm doing the video, I literally export it to this and then I'll go to YouTube and then export it off this to, um, to YouTube. You do not have to buy this when you first start. It is actually um, your choice if you wanna buy a flash drive. You can even buy one that's less than this with lesser gigabytes on it just to see if you it needs but i highly do recommend giving a flash drive because it just stores it just in case something happens um something corrupts you have everything on backup um with that being well uh, tied to this i also have these two doggles um they are well this is one you really plug it in your macbook and then there goes like a usb um a mini SD card and then the bigger SD, or the smaller SD cards and then I also have this dongle right here Which has the two USB C's and it has Charger to charge your MacBook while you're using the other stuff, but um, SD cards USBs All that good stuff uh, So basically because I do have a MacBook Pro um, 
I do have a MacBook Pro and it doesn't have the actual dongle with it, so I had to purchase one separately. Um, this is the one I used to use all the time, but I really stick to this one because I can charge my, my, not my iPad, my computer while I'm editing my video. Because this is USB-C, and then this is also USB-C. So I have to plug it in USB-C, and then I can use this, or I can charge my phone to export, you know? So, um, this is also, if you do have an iPad mini or anything with a USB-C, um, this is also um, compatible with an iPad. I edited a YouTube video off my iPad before on CapCut, so CapCut on my iPad before, and it worked good. It just takes up a lot of storage. Um, but I haven't really like focused on another way to save memory on my iPad and then edit my YouTube video on there. But it was convenient using the Apple Pencil and the iPad to edit my YouTube video. It was really fun and like light on the go. Um, so this is also compatible with your iPad if it has USB-C. Um, that's all the equipment that I use. Um, again, I feel like your starter kit should be, you ain't gotta worry about a computer, you don't have to worry about an iPad. I feel like a phone with a good quality camera, even if it's an older device, I feel like cameras in general, they're still great. Um, but as long as you push out your content, the quality will come after. Um, it's the quantity that you need to start and be more successful. Um, but other than that, y'all, this is really all that I use in my everyday lifestyle, content creation, and being an influencer. Um, if you have any questions or concerns down below, any questions, because you shouldn't have any concerns because I spilled the tea bit. I spilled the tea today, baby. So you should have any concerns. You should, you should have more questions. Um, if you want to see a more in-depth video of me editing an actual reel or editing a YouTube video, anything like that, just comment down below and I will get to it. I do look at the comment section even though there's not a lot of comments, but do not forget to like and subscribe to this video. Follow my socials at S-A-M-X-O-L-O-G-Y. <laughs> And stay tuned for the next video.